Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor. I have a little different video for you today. I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions that I've gotten quite a bit recently. Additionally, I'm going to give you some channel updates, tell you about some interesting and really cool new features I'm doing on my channel. Uh, if you're looking for actual gameplay commentaries and specific tips and tricks, uh, I have a lot of those on my channel. Please make sure to check them out. This video is a little bit more for kind of my real hardcore subscribers who want to get a behind the scenes look at Halo Reach Tutor, who I am, and some of the things I'm doing on my channel. Uh, but if you're just looking for some quick tips and tricks and gameplay videos, I've got some great ones on my channel. So here's the link. Please check them out. Otherwise, uh, stick around and I'll answer some of your questions, get a few of the miscellaneous stuff out of the way, and then we can get back to uh, the videos that you know and love. So uh, one of the, the popular questions I get, people want to know my controller layouts and my sensitivity levels and so forth. So I'm going to show you that right here. I'm using the recon button layout uh, you know, really, you got to use whatever one's best for you. Um, you you got to experiment with a couple different uh, controller layouts. This is the one that I'm the most comfortable with. Uh, I started playing with Halo 3. Then when Halo Reach came out, the the uh, default was substantially different. So the recon layout in Halo 4, Halo Reach rather, I'm sorry, the recon layout in Halo Reach was very comparable to the default in 3. So I was comfortable with it. I used it. Now, here comes Halo 4, and again, the recon is the one that I'm most comfortable with, I'm most familiar with, I don't have to think about what I'm doing, so this layout works very well for me. Is it the best layout in general? No, probably not. You might want to try the default layout, the bumper jumper, whatever works for you. Um, you know, you just have to do something that's very natural for you, you don't have to think about what you're doing, you can just do it quickly, simply, and easily. For me, it's recon, for you, that's for you to decide. Um, I don't invert uh, look sensitivity. I go with a three. This is fairly low. It's the default setting. Um, you know, I have pretty shaky hands. I'm not that steady. So the three works very well for me. Uh, if you don't know what works for you, I'd ex I would experiment with a few different numbers, probably something between a three and a six or a three and a seven. Uh, much lower than a three, you're probably going to lose some mobility. Um, and it probably could become a disadvantage if you can't play it at least a, a level three. Um, now above a seven, that's pretty insane. I don't know very many people that succeed playing on that high of a sensitivity level, but it is possible. Uh, but, but I think that those who can do well at a 10 know who they are. <laughs> so if you don't know what your level is, don't go to a 10. Try something between like a three and a seven and kind of experiment around a little bit. Uh, I like the toggle crouch just because when you crouch, you're off the radar. I like to get off the radar and still have the ability to move around a little bit without keeping my finger on the button because sometimes I slip and I lift my finger off the button and I uncrouch accidentally. So I'm a sneaky beaver. I like the toggle crouch. If you're a sneaky beaver too, you probably would like the toggle crouch. But this is not the most popular default. Most people like the other one, which is uh, hold the crouch. Uh, I'm, I don't like that setting, so I'm going to leave it on toggle crouch. Um, really quickly, let me go into the customized Spartan ID because I see a lot of people mess this up as difficult as that is to believe. My uh, service tag is HART, H-A-R-T, which is short for Halo Reach Tutor. I played under that tag for a long time. Now I'm Halo 4 Tutor, but I still like the service tag and I'm going to stick with it. My emblem is typically a heart, but right now I don't have the heart unlocked, which is really annoying because I'm stuck with these dog tags, which I don't like. But uh, you know, hopefully I can get that heart unlocked soon. I can rank up and get the heart. So that's what I go with. The thing with the service tag is this is the tag that people are going to read when they're in the game and you need something that's very quick and easy and readable. Okay. Heart. That's one syllable, very quick and easy to read. I see a lot of people doing something stupid like L seven S zero or whatever, like something that doesn't make any sense. Very difficult to read. You can't say it. And I'm going to do a video on communication later, but I'm just going to say now, you need a tag that people can read and understand and talk to you very quickly and easily, okay? Do something that's like one syllable, you know, mostly uh, characters, uh, letters. Uh, try not to do a lot of numbers unless it, like, looks good. Uh, and so anyway, just do it quick and easy and simple so other people can read it. Heart, Matt, Halo, things like that. Those are all very good service tags. Um, the other mistake I see people make and I don't know why they do this, but I see a lot of people who have all the same service tags as all their friends. And this is ridiculous because when you're playing together, you can't talk to each other because you've all got the exact same name. 
and you can't call somebody out and warn them about a player or or tell them where a weapon is or t- you can't communicate at all because you've all got the exact same name and so it's absolutely preposterous to have the same service tag as all your buddies so don't do that that's that's totally noob um, I'm going to go over my loadouts very, very, very quickly here. People just want to see what they are. The DMR is my favorite precision weapon right now. Personally, I just like, I just feel like I have a lot more success with the DMR than any other weapon, so that's the one I use. I'm going to go over all this in more detail later. I, I like the plasma grenades. They're not as powerful as the frags, but they seem to have a little bit more accuracy to them. You can place them right where you want them. I like those. Regen field. Uh, you know, I, I like that regen field because it just, it, it's useful in all game types, all game situations. Uh, it doesn't matter what's going on. That regen field comes in handy. And unlike most other armor abilities, it benefits your entire team every time you use it. Okay. So you really can't go wrong with this bad boy. The mobility and ammo, those are both a plus packages and upgrades. Uh, you know, they're just useful again, all the time in all situations. That's why I like them. Loadout number two, sticking with the DMR again, because I really like that one. Only thing I really switch up is the jetpack, and I don't do this primarily, but sometimes the situation dictates the jetpack, and I like to have the option to, to load out with that if I need it. Um, the third one, this is kind of my king of the hill loadout again. You want to think about each different game type you're going into. Situationally, some loadouts are going to be better than others. So in king of the hill, I like this one. The Assault Rifle is very good for short-range combat. You get a lot of that in King of the Hill. Um, the the grenadier, uh, grenadier and the Explosives and Frag Grenades, that's a great combination. Get all those three together because those frags are a little more powerful. You get an extra one with the Grenadier, and you get uh, extra explosive, extra powerful grenades. That's a great combination to clear out those hills so you can clear all the hills out. Then what I do is I use the hologram right outside the hill, allow my hologram to walk into the hill, then I go stand on the other side, and hopefully my opponents, when they come back for revenge, they're going to shoot up my hologram. Meanwhile, they ignore me on the other side of the map. So this is kind of my king of the hill package. You want to, again, think about your loadouts situationally. Some loadouts are going to be better for other game types and situations. Finally, my fourth one, I'm still experimenting with this one. This isn't uh, tried and tested yet, but this is mostly Covenant Weapons with Promethean Vision. Just needed something really to counter all those sneaky beavers who are camping and using active camo. And so I wanted to have that that loadout available. Uh, whoop, hit the wrong button here. Sorry about that. So this loadout number four, again, I'm just trying to play around with this one, see what works better for me. Uh, so that's my loadouts. Um, let's see. That's all. That's all the information here in the start menu that I wanted to show you. Um, the other thing I did want to talk about briefly is some of the features that I have on my channel right now. Um, I, I'm going to be doing some spotlight videos. I've done these in the past. They've been uh, very exciting. They've been very successful. What these are is uh, I bring in videos from other people's YouTube channels. I share them with you on my channel, and I do this because I like to expand the minds of my loyal subscribers. I believe I do put out some great videos. I really think I do and I get some good feedback, but there's other people out there who make some fantastic videos, who have some terrific ideas, and I really just like to share those with my viewers when I come across a really good one. So, sometimes I upload on my own channel with their permission, and uh, it seems to be a really successful win-win situation for everybody. My viewers win, they get to see great videos. I win because I get some great videos on my channel, and uh, these contributors win because they get a little bit of extra exposure and they're able to share their tips and tricks with a larger audience. So if you see one or two videos, usually put up about one a week. It's not my voice. Don't be alarmed. My channel has not been hijacked. I'm just uh, sharing the, the, the videos with, with my audience. If you like them, and I think you will, then leave a comment to leave some feedback so that I can continue to you know, provide the very best spotlight videos. Um, you know, I've got some re- really great feedback in the past. I have some great ones lined up in the future. So please check them out. Let me know what you think. And uh, I screen these. You know, I make sure only put in the very best videos. I think you're going to like them. Uh, secondly, uh, I do an open game night because I get a ton of friend requests, guys. I get a lot of friend requests. And I really appreciate your loyal subscription. I appreciate, uh, you know, that you, you want to be my friend and play with me. I really do. I just I have a pretty tight knit loyal group of friends that I, I stick with. I don't have a lot of room for a lot of new friends, uh, especially. I mean, I just can't possibly play with everybody that wants to play with me, unfortunately. So, 
what I've done, I've I've done I started an open game night where about once a week, you know, I'll announce that I'm going to be holding an open game night and basically anybody can join, anybody can play with me and my friends. We have a lot of fun. It's always a full team and we play a lot of different game types and it's just absolutely a blast and anybody can join in and play with me for an hour. So, if you want to do that, if you're interested in playing with me, uh, uh, just make sure to keep an eye out for those announcements on my channel. They come about once a week. You can jump in and play with me during open game night. If you send me a friend request, it's nothing personal. It's most likely going to be rejected. Okay, nothing personal. I just don't have room. Uh, so that's about it. That's my channel updates. That's some of the news, the frequently asked questions. If you have more questions, please keep them coming. I love to hear feedback. Uh, you know, if you're still here and listening, I appreciate uh, you sticking around for my diatribe here. I just kind of wanted to pack a bunch of miscellaneous random stuff into my uh, my video here, like a one-time shot to answer your questions, give you updates. But I th thank you for watching. Please continue to leave comments. Uh, please check out my channel. Got a lot of great uh, content already there. A lot of great content on the way. Halo 4 Tutor, thanks for watching. Signing out. I'll see you next time.